In the name of the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord and call upon his holy name. Allah compass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. This is the Lord's doing and is marvelous in our eyes. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. For the Lord hath done a mighty act with his own arm. He hath trampled down death by death and became the firstborn from the dead. He hath delivered us from the depths of Hades, granting the world the great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, thy nativity, O Theotokos, hath proclaimed joy to the whole universe. For from thee did shine forth the Son of Justice, Christ our God, anointing the curse and bestowing blessing, abolishing death, and granting us life everlasting. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Thy nativity, O Theotokos, hath proclaimed joy to the whole universe. For from thee did shine forth the Son of Justice, Christ our God, annulling the curse and bestowing the blessing, abolishing death and granting us life everlasting. Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. All in remembrance are all holy immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. <laughs> For thine is the might, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, he who is the first fruits of those that slept, the firstborn of creation and the creator of all things created. He hath renewed by himself the nature of our corrupt race. Wherefore thou shalt reign no more, O death, for the Lord of all hath nullified the power, thy power and dissolved it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When thou didst taste death in the flesh, O Lord, thou didst check bitter death by thy resurrection, and didst make man to prevail over it, restoring victory over the old curse. Wherefore, O supporter and champion of our life, glory to thee both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Shout, O David, what God hath sworn to thee, said he, all that he swore to me hath been fulfilled. For behold, from the fruit of my belly hath he brought forth the virgin, of whom was born Christ the creator, the new Adam, a king upon my throne, who reigneth today. He is the unshaken kingdom, since the barren one hath given birth to the Theotokos, nourisher of our lives. Because of thine immutable divinity, O Lord, and thy voluntary sufferings, Haiti was overwhelmed and moaned within itself, saying, 
Verily, I am in dread fear of the person of this incorruptible body, for I see the unseen fighting me secretly, and behold those whom, I'm high, whom I have held shouting, Glory to thy resurrection, O Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us believers speak of divine things, of the secret of the inscrutable crucifixion, of the ineffable resurrection. For today hath death and Hades been led captive, and the race of death hath been invested with incorruption. Therefore do we cry to thee in gratitude. Glory to thy resurrection, O Christ, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily, Mary, the maiden of God, is born for us today on the stem of Jesse and the loins of David, and all creation is renewed and, and deified. Wherefore, rejoice together, O heaven and earth. Praise her, O ye families of the Gentiles. For Joachim doth rejoice and Anna doth feast, crying out, The bear hath given birth to the Theotokos, the nourisher of our lives. Blessed are the blameless in the way who walk in the love of the Lord. Blessed are they that search out his testimonies. With their whole heart shall they seek after him. For they that work iniquity have not walked in his way. Thou hast enjoined thy commandments that we should keep them most diligently. Would that my words were directed to keep thy statue. Then shall I not be ashamed when I look on all thy commandments. I will confess thee with a brightness of heart when I have learned the judgments of thy righteousness. I will keep thy statutes, do not utterly forsake me. Wherewithal shall a young man correct his way by keeping thy word? With my whole heart have I sought after thee, cast me not away from thy commandments. In my heart have I hid thy sayings, that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. The company of the angels was amazed when they beheld thee numbered among the dead. Yet thy self, O Savior, destroyed the power of death, and with thee raising up Adam, and releasing all men from hell. Wherefore, O women disciples, do ye mingle sweet-smelling spices with your tears of pity? The radiant angel within the sepulcher cried, Unto the myrrh-bearing women, behold the grave and understand, for the Savior is risen from the tomb. Very early in the morning did the myrrh-bearing women run lamenting unto thy tomb. But an angel came toward them, saying, The time for lamentation is past. Weep not, but announce unto the apostles the resurrection. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. The myrrh-bearing women mourned as bearing spices they drew near thy tomb, O Savior. But the angel spake unto them, saying, Why number ye the living among the dead? In that he is God, he is risen from the grave. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We adore the Father, as also the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity in one essence, 
crying with the seraphim, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O Lord. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. In that thou didst bear the giver of life, O virgin, thou didst receive, redeem Adam from sin. And didst give to Eve joy in place of sadness. And he who was incarnate of thee, both God and man, hath restored to life those who had fallen therefrom. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o teo. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Alleluia, 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 al majdu laka ya Allah, ya ilahana wa rajana. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy. All in remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever virgin Mary of all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Good name and glorified is thy kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. To the ointment bearing women the brilliant angel of sweet words startling them did say why seek ye the living one in the grave he is verily risen and hath emptied the tombs know ye therefore that the changeless one hath changed corruption to incorruption and say to God, how dreadful are thy works, for thou hast saved mankind. Thou didst fairly deliver the captivity of Zion from Babylon, O word. Likewise, draw thou me out of suffering into life. They who sow in Timon with divine tears shall reap with rejoicing the sheaves of eternal life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. With the Holy Spirit, every gift is good, for he doth shine forth together with the Father and the Son, and in him doth all creation live and move. If the Lord buildeth not the house of virtues, in vainly do we labor. But if he defend and protect our lives, none shall prevail against our city. The saints are verily the higher of the fruit of the womb, and they have not ceased to be thy sons in the Spirit, O Christ, and thou art like a father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. By the Holy Spirit hath all holiness and wisdom been observed, for he is the creator of all, the essence of creation. Therefore, let us worship him, for he is God, as is the Father and the Word. Happy are they who fear the Lord, for they walk in the way of his commandments and eat of the fruits of universal life. Rejoice with gladness, O chief shepherd, as thou beholdest thy children's children round about thy table, offering branches of good deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily, all the riches of honor are of the Holy Spirit, and of him too is grace and life for all creation. Wherefore, he is to be praised with the Father and the Word. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth, the world also shall be so established that it shall not be moved. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth, the world also shall be so established that it shall not be moved. Praise the Lord with a new praise. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth, the world also shall be so established that it shall not be moved. Let 
us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Holy art thou, our God, rest us in the holy place, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Asap noi in esato ton kirion. Praise ye God and his saints, praise him in the firm foundation of his power. And that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us beseech the Lord our God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Wisdom, stand upright, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. Reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to the Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. At that time, the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make, dis and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always to the close of the age. Amen. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. In that we have beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Thy cross we adore, O Christ, and thy holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For thou art our God, and we are thy people. We are the work of thy hands, and we call upon thy name. O come, all ye faithful, let us adore Christ's holy resurrection. For lo, through the cross is joy come into all the world. Ever blessed in the Lord, let us sing his resurrection. For that he endured the cross for us, he hath destroyed death by death. Have mercy, up, have mercy upon have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy great mercy, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out mine iniquity. Mm, wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, mm, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge mine iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom thou hast made manifest to me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness, the bones that be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn away thy face from my sins and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and with thy governing spirit establish me. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I had given it. 
With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. Sacrifices to God are a contrite spirit, a contrite and humble heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built up. And shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with whole burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Through the intercessions of the apostles, O Thou, who art merciful, blot out all the multitudes of our transgressions, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Thou who art merciful, blot out all the multitude of our transgressions. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to Thy loving kindness according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Jesus, having risen from the grave, people and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassions. Exalt the horn of orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our all immaculate lady the Theotokos and ever virgin Mary whose nativity we celebrate this day. By the might of the precious and life-giving cross. By the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner and Baptist John, of the holy glorious all laudable apostles, of our fathers among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Cyril and John the Merciful, patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Myr and Lycia, Spiridon of Tremethos, and Nectarios of Pentopolis, the wonder workers, of our Father among the saints, Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn, of the Holy Glorious Great Martyrs, George the Trophy Bearer, Protector of this Holy Cathedral, Demetrios, the Myrrh Streaming, Theodore the Soldier, Theodore the General, and Minos, the Wonder Worker, of the Higher Martyrs, Ignatius the God Bearer of Antioch, Aralampos, and Eleutherios, of the Holy Glorious and Great Women Martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, oh, Catherine, Kitty, Aki, Fotini, Marina, Paraska, V, and Irina. Of the Holy Glorious and Right Victorious Martyrs, of our Venerable and god bearing Fathers who have shone in the ascetic life. Of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all thy saints, we beseech the only most merciful Lord. Hearken unto the petitions of us sinners who make our supplication unto thee, and have mercy on us. Have mercy. 
Passions and love for mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy and good and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. On this, on this day didst thou arise out of the grave and didst lead us from the bars and gates of death. Thou who art great in compassion, on this day both Adam danceth and Eve rejoiceth. And with them, all the patriarchs and the prophets chant unceasing hymns in praise of the godly power of thy dominion and might. Let heaven and earth dance today, and let them praise Christ God with one accord. For he hath raised from the grave them that were in bonds. All creation rejoiceth together as it offereth fitting songs unto our Redeemer, the creator of all. For having drawn mortals with himself out of Hades today, as the giver of life, he exalteth them with himself up to the heavens. He danceth. He dasheth down the arrogance of the enemy and breaketh in pieces the gates of Hades by the godly power of his dominion and might. On this day in the Holy Orthodox Church, we take leave of the celebration of the nativity of the most holy Theotokos. By the intercessions of the holy Theotokos, O Christ, God, have mercy upon us. Amen. Verily Moses, having struck horizontally with his rod, Leaving the Red Sea and causing Israel to cross on foot. Then having struck it transversely, bringing it together over Pharaoh and his chariots. They trace the cross, the symbol of that invincible weapon. Wherefore do we praise Christ our God for that he hath been glorified. The rod is taken as a symbol of the mystery for by its budding it designateth the priest. But now the tree of the cross hath blossomed forth with might and steadfastness to the hitherto barren church. I have heard, O Lord, of the mystery of thy dispensation and have contemplated thy works. Wherefore have I glorified thy Godhead? O oh, thou thrice blessed tree, where on the Lord Christ the King was stretched, and through it to beguiled by the tree fell, having been beguiled by thee. By the God that was now upon thee in the flesh, who granted safety to our souls. When Jonah in the belly of the whale did stretch forth his hands in the form of a cross, he did foreshadow clearly the passion of salvation. And when he came out on the third day, he did symbolize the world transcending resurrection of Christ, nailed upon the in the flesh and illuminating the world by his third day resurrection. The mad command of the infidel tyrant hath shaken the nations. Breathing forth threats and blasphemies, Lord of God. But the youths were not terrified by the bestial terror, nor the consuming fire. For being together amidst the fire, blown forth by a dewy breeze, they were singing. Oh, thou exceed. 
exceedingly praise, blessed art thou, O thou Lord God of our Father. We praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord. O ye youths equal in number to the Trinity, bless the Father, the God creator. Praise the word which did condescend and turn the fire to a dewy breeze and exalt more and more the all Holy Spirit who giveth life to all forevermore. Most holy Theotokos, save us. O thou who from thy virgin, O loins in Ephabi, lentest the body into the luminary that was before the sun, even God, who hath dawned upon us and dwelt among us in the body. O blessed and pure Theotokos, Thee do we magnify. Most holy Theotokos, save us. He that made the water to gush from the cloven rock for the disobedient people. To our joy granted thee to the obedient nation as the fruit of barren loins, as is meet, O Immaculate Mother of God, thee do we magnify. Most holy Theotoko, save us, O abrogation of the harsh ancient sentence, Uprighting of our first mother, cause of God's kinship with the race, and bridge unto the Creator, O Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Verily, virginity, O Theotokos, is impossible for a mother, as birth giving is impossible for virgins. Yet in thee hath the dispensation of both been accomplished, wherefore all we families of the earth to ceaselessly bless thee. Most holy Theotoko, save us. <clears throat> Thou hast achieved, O Theotokos, the promise of the birth giving, as worthy of thy purity. For thou didst bestow on her who was fruitless of flourishing fruit from God. Wherefore, we nations of the earth ceaselessly bless thee. Most holy Theotoko, save us. Verily, O undefiled one, the prophecy of the crier hath been fulfilled. For he said, I shall raise the fallen tabernacle of the noble David, which was prefigured in thee. O thou in whom all the sod of humanity hath been renewed in form a body unto God. O Suri Theotokos, save us. O Theotokos, as we adore thy swaddling clothes, we glorify him who gave fruit, gave fruit to the barren. When a strange way open an unproductive womb, for he doeth what he will, since he is God, God ruling over all. Holy Theotoko, save us, O Anna of divine mind, mother of the bride. Thou hast produced from thy womb unexpectedly after the promise. The flower of the plant of virginity, 
giving as fruit from God the goodness of purity. Wherefore we all beatify thee, since thou art the origin of our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. It is impossible for those who have not the law to glorify the eternal Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the omnipotent and uncreated that founded the whole world by an act of his might. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. In thy womb, O Virgin Mother, thou didst hold one of the Trinity, Christ the King, whom all creation doth praise, and before whom the celestial thrones do tremble. Wherefore beseech him, O all revered one, to save our soul. Thou art the mystical paradise of Theotokos, for that thou being until didst but forth Christ, by whom was planted on earth the life-giving tree of the cross, Wherefore, as we adore it, being elevated, we magnify thee. Today the death that came to man through eating of the tree is abolished through the cross. For the curse of our first mother Eve that fell on mankind is destroyed by the fruit of the pure mother of God, whom all the powers of heaven magnify. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. All into remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos, and ever virgin most Mary, with all the saints. Save us. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life. Unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise thee, and unto thee they ascribe glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy is the Lord our God. Kudusun hu rabbu. Agios Kyrios O Theosimon, exalt ye the Lord our God, and worship at his footstool, for he is holy. Upon that mountain Galilee, let us join the disciples to look in faith on Christ who saith, He hath received dominion over things on earth and heaven. Let us learn how he teacheth to baptize all the nations in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and how he promised to be with his initiates until the end of all things. The ends of earth rejoice today upon thy birth, O blameless maid, O Mary, God's hallowed mother, and bride who knewest not wedlock, here on is loosed the sorrowful reproach and pain of childlessness by 
which thy parents once were held. Loosed is the curse in childbearing that fell on Eve, our first mother. O Adam, be made new again. Our mother Eve, be magnified. Ye prophets with the apostles, dance in delight with the righteous. Today the world is filled with joy, common to angels and to men, from chaste and righteous Joachim and godly Anna is now born, the Theotokos and Virgin. Let everything that hath breath praise the from the dead to save all. To him let us bow down in worship. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. The guards have published it abroad, O Lord, telling of all thy wonders. But the assembly of the falsehood filled their right hand with bribes, thinking that thereby they might conceal thy resurrection, which the world doth glorify, wherefore have mercy upon us. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent Greatness. Verily, all creatures were filled with joy when they received the glad tidings of thy resurrection. For Mary Magdalene, coming to thy grave, met an angel in a brilliant robe sitting on the stone 
who said, Why seekest thou the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. As he said, he will go before you into Galilee. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the psaltery and harp. O master lover of mankind, with thy light do we behold the light, for thou art risen from the dead, granting salvation to the race of man that the whole creation may glorify thee alone, who art without stain, have mercy upon us. Praise him with the timbrel and dance, praise him with stringed instruments and organs. O strange wonder, great and marvelous, from the barren woman is the source of life now born, and grace doth begin resplendently to bring forth fruit. Rejoice, righteous Joachim, the Theotokos is begetter art thou become among all those born on earth. There is no father like thee, O inspired of God. For through thee we have been given the pure maiden who held God. Yea, the old holy mountain and the tabernacle of our God. Praise him upon the loud cymbals, Praise him upon the high-sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. O strange wonder, great and marvelous, from the barren womb is the source of life now born, and grace doth begin resplendently to bring forth fruit. Rejoice, righteous Joachim, the Theotokos begetter art thou become. Among all those born on earth, there is no father like thee, O inspired of God, for through thee we have been given the pure maiden who held God, yea, the all-holy mountain and the tabernacle of our God. Hearken, O daughter, and consider and incline thy ear. O strange wonder, great and marvelous, from a barren woman, Fruit has shone forth by command of him that hath made all things the Lord omnipotent. This fruit hath wholly destroyed the fallen world's grievous barrenness of good things and joining the mother of the Theotokos Ye mothers now dance and cry. Maiden full of grace, rejoice thou with thee, is the Lord our God, who abundantly granteth his great mercy to the world through thee. The rich among the people shall entreat thee thy countenance. And the renowned is manifest as a living pillar of bright beaming chastity, a radiant vessel glittering with grace divine. For she hath in truth brought forth the godly flower and crown of virginity, who openly doth confer 
the grace and beautiful gift of virginity. Both on virgins and on all who love the grace of maidenhood, and she granteth great mercy unto all the faithful flock of Christ. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. This is the day of the Lord. Wherefore rejoice all ye nations, for be God, Lamb of God, 
Son of the Father that takest away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, thou that takest away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer, thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For the only art holy, the only art the Lord, O Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless thee. And I will praise thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Thou say, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers, and praised and glorified be thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statue. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in all generations. I said, Be merciful unto me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, I have fled unto thee. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For with thee is the fountain of life, and in thy light shall we see light. O continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee. Holy God, holy mighty, Holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Kudus on Allah, kudus on al-Qawi, kudus on al-Ladhi, laya mutrhamna. Ayos atheos, ayos isiros, ayos athanatos eleisonimas. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Come unto the world, let us sing praises unto him who arose from the grave, the author of our life, for having by death destroyed death, he hath given us victory and great mercy. Bless, Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace, 
let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. For our Metropolitan Joseph, our Bishop Basil, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our President, the civil authorities and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this city and every city and countryside and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For helpful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy <coughs> upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Remember, O Lord David, and all his meekness. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Lo, we have heard it at Ephrathah, we have found it in the plains of the wood. Glorious things are spoken of thee, O city of God. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be shaken. God shall help her right early in the morning. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Thine is the might and thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
God has sworn in truth to David, he shall not know that the fruits of thy loins shall sit upon the throne. O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, save us who sing unto thee, Alleluia. There will I make a horn to spring forth for David, I have prepared a lamb for my Christ. O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, save us who sing unto thee, Alleluia. For the Lord hath elected Zion, he hath chosen her to be a habitation for himself. O Son of God, who art upon us and keep us, O God, by thy grace. All in to remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art a good God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Here will I dwell, for I have chosen her. Thy nativity, O Theotokos, hath proclaimed joy to the whole world. For from thee hath done the Son of Righteousness, Christ our God, annulling the curse and bestowing the blessing abolishing death and granting us life everlasting. The Most High hath hallowed his tabernacle. Thy nativity, O Theotokos, hath proclaimed joy to the whole world. For from thee hath dawned forth the Son of Righteousness, Christ our God, annulling the curse and bestowing the blessing, 
abolishing death and granting us life everlasting. Holy is the temple, wonderful in righteousness. Thy nativity, O Theotokos, hath proclaimed joy to the whole world. For from thee hath dawned forth the Son of Righteousness, Christ our God, annulling the curse and bestowing the blessing. Abolishing death and granting us life everlasting. Wisdom, let us attend. Come, let us worship and unto thee. The barren doth give birth to the Theotokos, the nourisher of our life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For holy art thou, O our God, and unto thee do we ascribe glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever. And the ages of ages.
Satan. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Unto thee, O Lord, will I cry, O my God, be not silent unto me. Wisdom. The reading is from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Galatians. Let us attend. Brethren, see with what large letters I am writing to you with my own hand. It is those who want to make a good showing in the flesh that would compel you to be circumcised and only in order that they may not be persecuted for the cross of Christ. For even those who receive circumcision do not themselves keep the law, but they desire to have you circumcised that they may glory in your flesh. But far be it from me to glory except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. For neither circumcision counts for anything nor uncircumcision, but a new creation. Peace and mercy be upon all who walk by this rule upon the Israel of God. Henceforth let no man trouble me, for I bear on my body the marks of Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brethren. Amen. Peace be unto thee that readest. I have raised up one chosen out of my people. For my hand shall be unto him an ally, and mine arm shall strengthen him. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. Reading is from the Holy Gospel according to John. Let us attend. The Lord said, No one has ascended into heaven, but he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God sent his Son into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world 
might be saved through him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, today we conclude our celebration of the Nativity of the Mother of God, but we also embark upon a week-long meditation, which we do every year, on the cross. And so today's Gospel has a small passage from the conversation between Jesus and and Nicodemus, containing what is perhaps the most well-known verse in the entire New Testament, John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only, only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Nicodemus was a righteous man, we learn in John chapter 7 that he was a member of the Sanhedrin. The Lord says that he was a ruler in Israel. In John chapter 7, he defended Jesus. They wanted to arrest him. But he stood up in this council. And later it was Nicodemus who brought 100 pounds of spices to bury Jesus with. Successful in business, influential politically, devout in disposition, Nicodemus was a man who had everything going for him. And yet something was missing. Something was wrong. There was an emptiness and a restlessness in his soul. And it drove him to seek out Jesus in secret in the middle of the night when no one could accuse him and when perhaps his reputation would not be sullied. Nicodemus sought a new beginning and that's exactly what the Lord spoke to him about. In the midst of this converse, conversation, this great verse is given. And it is given precisely in Jesus' instructions for a new beginning. And that is something that every serious Christian has to attain. Sometimes, brothers and sisters, we need it more than once in our Christian life and on our walk. More than once we need a new beginning. What is a new beginning? an explicit intention, a firm resolve, an unyielding thirst for God. And only Jesus Christ can satisfy that aspect of our soul and our life and our being. And even if we are completely successful in all other areas, we will have something missing if we don't satisfy that deepest yearning of the human soul with Christ. We need to seek him, as did Nicodemus. Now, this verse, John 6, 316, up until very recently, it was fashionable to see it everywhere. At football games, players would write it on their jerseys, Literally, stickers, placards, everywhere. Even unchurched Christians used to know it by heart. 
It is a summary of the entire gospel, a kernel of not only what we hope for and believe, but what we must do to attain these things. And the Lord gives it with two very obscure Old Testament passages. Those are future chanters, by the way. So everyone rejoice that our traditions will continue. I'm going to read these two obscure passages. The Lord says this first. No one has ascended into heaven except he who came down from heaven, even the Son of Man who is in heaven. Then he says this. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever, whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And then comes John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The Lord is referring to two obscure Old Testament passages, one from Daniel chapter 7. Daniel sees in the middle of the night a vision in his prayer roll. He sees the heavens opened, and he says, Behold, I see one like the Son of Man on the clouds of heaven, and to him is given dominion and glory and kingdom, and all peoples and nations and languages will serve him, and his dominion will be an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, a kingdom never destroyed. That's the Son of Man. And then this reference to Moses lifting up the serpent in the wilderness, Numbers chapter 21, when the people rebelled, they sinned, they apostatized. They had it with Moses and with God, and they were bitten by these serpents, and Moses said, you know, Lord, if you're going to get rid of them, get rid of me. It was a sacrificial prayer. And so he was commanded to put a bronze serpent on a, a post, a post kind of like this. And all who looked upon it with faith were healed. Then comes John 3.16 with no ambiguity. The giving of the Son will involve a glorious son who is offered up for the sins of his people. John 3.16 has these two parts, God's action and our response, and both are needed. God's action is that he loved the world, even so loved the world, he created the world. <clears throat> he gave it form, he gave it order, he gave it beauty. Everything in the world is extremely complex and yet so approachable. It fits together so perfectly. Nature warms our heart. It raises our spirits. It puts our reasoning to awe. The beauty and order of the world witness to its divinity, its sacred character, I should say. And God not only created this world, but he gave everything in it to us, to mankind, for free. It was to give us joy. It was created for us. We were not created for the world. We were created for God. The world was created for us. Man understands the world. The world does not understand man. We are part of the world. We are in the world. We are obsessed with the world, but we're also above the world. We transcend the world. We speak on a level above the world. We do not speak on the level of nature. As St. Gregory of Nyssa said, we have a spark of the divinity in us that was given to us directly from God. And we were to use this world to grow spiritually by offering it to God 
and as a gift to one another, and therefore tighten our relationship, our communion, our depth of person. Well, as we know, egotism got in the way. And we would rather have the world at the expense of our relationship with God. We would rather have the world than our relationships with one another. Is that not the paradigm of our contemporary society and world today? Which even glorifies this attitude. It is a complete distortion of the world. And it completely obfuscates the meaning of the world, its true depth, and its spiritual character as a gift from God. Even St. Maximus the Confessor, he has this beautiful saying, self-love clouds the mind. Self-love clouds the mind. And so God did something else. He gave us himself. He gave us the world, and when we misused it, when we misunderstood it, he gave us his son to give us a new beginning, to show us the meaning of the world and what our purpose is in in the world. And this son had to be lifted up like the serpent in the wilderness on the cross so that those who would believe in him would be saved. And so our response, brothers and sisters, is to believe in him, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. And I will end with this. What is this Greek word, pistevo, belief? Is it simply an intellectual agreement, a rational assent, a dry recitation of some articles of faith? Or does it mean something more? To trust entirely, to entrust, to give something over entirely, to give oneself over, to hang your entire life upon. It's as if we're hanging from the cliff and we're going to hang on to one person. We're hanging everything on him. That is to believe. And the Lord says, those whosoever shall believe in him, whosoever shall entrust his entire being to him, shall not perish but have everlasting life. Zoin aeonion. So brothers and sisters, in this beautiful verse, which used to be written, what a beautiful thing. We think it's kind of trivial, John 3.16. It's actually a beautiful thing. I think they did some studies that some football player put this verse on his jersey and 94 million people Googled it. What does that tell me? 94 million people didn't know John 3.16? What have we come to? But we should know it and we should live about it. We should live it because it summarizes all of God's action. And here is one person how they put it. It's God's power because he created the world. It's God's grace because he loved the world. It's his gift because he gave his only begotten son. It's his gospel because it calls all to believe in him. And it's his glory because it grants us eternal life in that unending kingdom of the Son of Man. What a joyous, beautiful, and healing faith we have in Orthodox Christianity. May our Lord Jesus Christ give us the strength to carry our cross and hang our life upon him. Amen. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace, wisdom. That guarded always by thy might, we may ascribe glory unto thee. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
unspeakable boundless love to our country. Invisibly as courted by Angelica. We may receive the King of all who comes invisibly as courted by Angelica. We may receive the King of all who comes invisibly as courted by Angelica. and those who love us. Lift up, Master. Lift up your hands to the holy places and bless ye the Lord. Christians, the Lord God, remember in His heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. O 
our most reverend Metropolitan Joseph, his grace our Bishop Basil, and all our brotherhood in Christ. The Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. The President of the United States, all civil authorities and our armed forces everywhere, may the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Orthodox servants of God, that they might have mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation, and the pardon and forgiveness of their sins. The Metropolitan Paul and the Archbishop Johanna, the priest Ignatius, the Churia Misha, Christopher, Wendy, Larissa, Gary, and the servants of God, Charles, Janet, Jennifer, Matt, Addison, Aidan, Thomas, and Allison. The Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Orthodox servants of God departed this life in the hope of the resurrection unto life eternal. Thomas, Ferris, Josephine, Charles, Wayne, Richard, Luis, Grest, Gladys, Geneva, Ellis, David, Mary, John, and the, and the handmaid of God, Colleen. The Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Complete our prayer unto the Lord. For the precious gifts now set forth, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who with faith reverence in the fear of God into therein, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Angel of peace, a faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and forgiveness of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos and her Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassion. 
passions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. Let us love one another that with one accord we may confess. Doors, the doors in wisdom let us attend. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, by the light, very God and very God, begotten of God made, the one essence of the Father. By whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us in the conscious pilot and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of power. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. The kingdom shall have no end. But I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who is seated with the Father, with the Father and the Son, the other is the church of the Lord of life, who is the of the prophets. I believe in the one and only Catholic and Apostolic Church. I acknowledge my baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world. Let us stand aright, let us stand with fear, let us attend, that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. Those who just bring us from non existence into being when we fall fallen away, this race is up again, does not cease to do all things until the last part is back to heaven and God is with thy kingdom. For all these things we give thanks unto thee, to thy only begotten Son, and to the Holy Spirit. For all the things which we know, which we know not, all the benefits bestowed upon us, but manifest and unseen. We give thanks unto thee also for this ministry which thou hast found safe to receive at our hands, even though there stand besides these thousands of archangels and ten thousands of angels. Cherubim and the seraphim, six winged, many eyes soaring aloft, mourn on their wings. Singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, Son, that all who believe in him should perish, but have everlasting life. 
which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sins. Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Thine own, of thine own, we offer unto thee in behalf of all and for all. We praise thee, we bless thee, we give thanks unto thee, O Lord. We pray unto thee, O our God. And again we offer unto thee this rational and bloodless worship beseech thee and pray thee and supplicate thee. Send down thy Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here spread forth and make this bread the precious body of thy Christ and that which is in this cup the precious blood of thy Christ changing them by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That those you shall partake thereof, they may be in the vigilance of soul, of the remission of sins, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, under the fulfillment of the kingdom of God, and of the fullness to the name of God, and the judgment of the condemnation. Again, we offer unto thee this rational worship of all those who have faith in God before us to Patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, and said unto the righteous spirit. Especially are all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. The Holy Prophet, Father, Baptist John, the Holy Glorious, a lot of all apostles, and all the saints whose memory is celebrated, suffocated. Oh, Virginity is alien to mothers, and childbirth is foreign to virgins in the Otheotokos both were granted wherefore all we the tribes of the earth bless thee unceasingly Our civil authorities, our armed forces everywhere, grant them, O Lord, peaceful times, that we in their tranquility may lead a calm and peaceful life in all godliness and sanctity. Among the first be mindful, O Lord, of our Metropolitan Joseph and our Bishop Basil, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, 
and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. And of those who offer these precious gifts to the Lord our God, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, and every priestly order and of their salvation, of the peace and stability of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, the salvation and help of the people here present, those whom they are remembering, and of all mankind. And of all Grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise an all honorable majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts which have been spread forth and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. That our God, who loveth mankind, receiving them upon his holy, most heavenly, and ideal altars, a savor of spiritual sweetness, will send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Asking for the unity, the faith, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us command ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. And vouchsafe, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. Bow your heads unto the Lord. Through the grace and compassion and love toward mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy and good and life giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Let us attend. The holy things are for the holy. Divided and
and unto life everlasting. Amen. And I beseech that for O Son of God, accept me today as your communicant, for I will not speak of my mystery to my enemies, neither will I give the accusers to Judas, but like the thief will I confess to you. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom, not into judgment, nor into condemnation. Be my particular and the mysteries of the Lord, but unto me in the soul of God. Forgive me, my brethren, can celebrate. Forgive me, my brothers and sisters, in the name of Christ. Christ my Lord. With the fear of God, with faith and with love, draw near. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and hath revealed himself unto us. Receive me today. 
And upright, having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly life giving dread mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Thou art our sanctification, and unto thee do we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, who blessest those who bless thee and sanctifiest those who put their trust in thee, save thy people and bless thine inheritance, preserve the fullness of thy church, sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house, glorify them in recompense by thy divine power and forsake us not who hope on thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to all civil authorities, to our armed forces, and to all thy people, for every good and perfect gift is from above and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and forevermore. With the spirits of the righteous made perfect, give rest to the soul of thy servant, O Savior, and preserve it in that life of blessedness which is with thee. O thou who lovest mankind, in the place of thy rest, O Lord, where all thy saints repose, give rest also to the soul of thy servant, for thou only lovest mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou art our God, who descended into Hades, and loose the bonds of those who were there, Thyself give rest also to the soul of thy servant. O now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O virgin alone, pure and immaculate, who without stain didst bring forth God, intercede for the salvation of his soul. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for the repose of the soul of the servant of God, Thomas, departed this life, that thou wilt pardon his every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary. That the Lord God will establish his soul where the just repose. The mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and forgiveness of his sins. Let us ask of Christ, our immortal King and our God. Let us pray to the Lord. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who has trampled down death, made powerless the devil, and given life to thy world. 
Do thou the same, Lord, give rest to the soul of thy departed servant Thomas, in a place of brightness, a place of verdure, a place of repose, whence all sickness, sorrow, and sighing have fled away. Pardon every sin which he hath committed, whether by word or deed or thought, for thou art good and lovest mankind. For there is no man who liveth and sinneth not. Thou only art without sin, and thy righteousness is to all eternity, and thy word is truth. For thou art the resurrection and the life and the repose of thy departed servant Thomas, O Christ our God. And unto thee do we ascribe glory, together with thine unoriginate Father, thine all holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. For thou art the resurrection and the life and the repose of thy departed servant Thomas, O Christ our God. And unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thine unoriginate Father, thine all-holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. May his memory be eternal. Please take note, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that to, tomorrow evening we will hold divine service for the solemn commemoration of the elevation of the cross of Christ. So come and be with us for the orthros, the procession of the cross, and divine liturgy tomorrow evening per the notice in your bulletin. Also, the next day, on Tuesday, we enter the final stretch of our annual dinner preparations. We begin preparing the batlawa. So come again if you're free on this workday, Tuesday and Wednesday, and join us as we prepare to welcome the city uh, to our annual dinner. Blessings of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love toward mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory May he who rose Lord again from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all that all blameless Holy Mother, whose nativity we celebrate by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, Corona and Baptist John, the holy glorious allotable apostles, the holy glorious right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of the great martyr George, the trophy bearer, patron of our community, the holy and righteous divine ancestors, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Through the prayers of our holy master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us.
Turn 